Bye. See you next time. That is a plate of goodness right there. That is blue ribbon cooking right there from the Frugal RV. Yeah, here. that is. I know. <laughs> green chilies enchiladas. Good chili Riano casserole. Yeah, chili Riano casserole. My bad. We had this last night and it was requested again for tonight and I made another batch. A lot of color, which is right there. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, and we got some veggies over here. Oh, yeah. That looks wonderful. It's not too bad. I have to come back for veggies. Oh. Right We've got some raisins, some pecans, some sour cream, some jalapenos, some salsa. Three kinds of squash in there. Oh, that's plenty. Ooh. Thank you. A little yeah. bit of apple. <laughs> apple? Wow. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Look who's coming. Down the road. I think it's Vicky. Is it Vicky Van Gogh? She's waving. Gotta be Vicky. We've been waiting for. She made it! Yay! All right, we're eating steaks tonight with Vicky Van Gogh. She made it, and this is sponsored by Red Alerts Crafts. Thank you for the charcoal. Hey, Red Alerts! Crafts. Yeah. We got the charcoal going. We're having steaks on a homemade fire pit tonight. This is my steak, C Dub steak. I like thin ribeyes. So I've got a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper, and some Worcestershire. Oh, and some pickled ginger. Pickled ginger for what? And garlic salt. And some pepper. Oh, we got some steak and some beans. Some asparagus. Oh, and a campfire. Yeah. Enjoy. And this is happy birthday, Vicky, and happy I wish you were here, birthday, Lola. Vicky. Early. Wish yep. You here, Lola. Happy I know. Birthday, Vicky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is a very windy day outside in Chile, and we decided to stay inside and paint. So me and Vicky are painting, and she just she's been drawing. Let me show you what she's been drawing. That mountain right there. I just got paint on my drawing. And look at that. How cool is that? And she's starting to paint. Yeah. And I got a lot of things <laughs> not right with this picture, but I will show you that much at this point. So, got a lot more to do. Got a lonely tree, so I need to add some more trees. And But this is, this was a mess up. So, redoing. We'll see what it ends up like. Back here, we're in the sand. <laughs> oh my God. And I had to get up on the, okay, I think we're out of the. Oh my God. <sighs>
worst first step. Part, yeah, yeah, I did too. <sighs> that was scary. That was very scary. I'd have had to walk 1.2 miles back too. Yep. Can't get my truck. My, I lost my phone and all of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's a good reason to leave somebody with the key to the vehicle because she could have brought it to us. Yeah. We'd have had to call her and say, hey, bring your. No. <laughs> bring, bring frugal syrup. Yeah. We got We're like, oh. All right. Whoa. <laughs> All right, look at the sun. No camping beyond this point. Look at that RV. Oh, and the guy just drove up. I should tell him. Did you read the sign? It says no camping. Let's yeah. don't get shot. No camping beyond this point. Read the signs, people. Okay, we're out looking for a geocache and I came up, one of the key was 1548, so I came to this post office box looking for 15 something. Notice this box here, it says official geocache, and it had this lock on it. Put in the combination 1548 and opened it up and there it is, yay! We're out geocaching. And the one we're looking for is called Squatter's Abode. So apparently this used to be where someone lived. I think she found it. On the road, sometimes you have to do projects in the Home Depot parking lot. So, I'll show you what we got going on. We're almost through, but I wanted to go ahead and get the camera out. Babs was driving and part of her <laughs> fiberglass fell. Of course, when we got it all pulled back, all that wood was rotten under there. So we've had to replace this wood. And we've got it all screwed into a metal brace on this end. This is kind of rotted here, but we were able to attach it there so we're about to put some liquid glue or liquid nails and we're going to start pulling it and pushing it back up under this piece here so that's where we are so this is here's the wood yeah it was pretty rotted So, but we decided to come to Home Depot to work on it in case we ever needed some parts, which we have. I've made two trips in, and then we made a trip in for the wood, so we're almost done. And then we're going to go get some lunch. We're all hungry. Putting in the final screw in this project. Look at that. Oh, like a rock star. Yeah. Look how good that looks. Sorry. I just ran right into you. You're entitled. Ooh. I think you're entitled, Frugal. That is so cool. Awesome. Yep. All we got to do is a little diacor, a little sealant, a little silicone, a little yeah. glue, a little. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna let Dan Isn't narrate. That beautiful, everybody. Look at that straight, straight up. Look at that. Wow, that is awesome. Okay.